In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again, tomorrow I will give, when you can give at once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble, he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who harms not his fellow men, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things, shall never be disturbed. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Please stand. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, no one lights a lamp, conceals it with a vessel, or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand 
so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Jesus said to the crowds, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel. Rather, he places it on a lamp stand. Kung tayo ay papipiliin, ano bang ating gusto, mas gusto, liwanag o dilim? Palagay ko namang lahat tayo ay gusto ay liwanag. Nakikita natin yan kapag ka nagkukulang ang distribution ng kuryente sa ating buhay, kahit na araw, kapag ka nag-brown out, nasisira yung ating plano for the day. That's how important light is. Okay naman yung sinabi sa gospel, di ba? Bakit ka nga magsisindi ng ilaw kung itatago mo naman? Let it shine, ika nga. Uh, kapag ka sinabi natin ang ilaw, hindi naman yan isang dekorasyon lamang. Meron siyang purpose upang, uh, nahirap po kasi, di ba? Kapag ka madilim, halimbawa, hindi lang brown out. Kapag ka madilim, anong ginagawa natin? We stop everything, we drop everything. Sapagkat hindi tayo makakagalaw ng basta-basta. Bakit? Sapagkat madilim, hindi natin alam baka tayo matisod, baka tayo ay madapa. Kaya titigil muna tayo, we let our eyes acclimatize to the darkness at meron tayong maaaninag after a short time. Kaya nga, importante ang liwanag upang makita natin ang ating daraanan at hindi tayo mapapatid o maaaksidente. Pero ang ilaw, kagaya ng sinabi ko nga, ay hindi isang dekorasyon. Although pagka Pasko, kapag kami special occasions, kailangan masaya ang ilaw, kagaya ng Pasko, di ba? Uh, but does it serve a purpose? Yes, it is a decoration. It makes things beautiful. But what is important really is something that illuminates. Something, pagka meron tayong flashlight, di ba? Pina-flashlight natin. We, we see, we see an object more clearly because of the flashlight or the spotlight. Kapag ka tayo ay nakikinig ng salita ng Diyos sa tuwing tayo nagsisimba o kapag ka tayo nagbabasa ng Biblia, there seems to be a light that goes inside our hearts. At yan yung salita ng Diyos nagbibigay sa atin ng liwanag. Kaya nga sa ating vernacular, kapag ka merong hindi nagkakaintindihan, ang sinasabi natin, ah, medyo malabo sa akin ito. Iyong nga ipaliwanag kung bakit ganito, kung bakit ganire. Iyong nga ipaliwanag. So, kailangan ng liwanag. Kaya kailangan ng explanation. No? Ipaliwanag mo nga sa akin sapagkat hindi maliwanag, medyo uh, malabo para sa akin. So, liwanag. So, in other words, Lamp, a lamp or a light is not just there to, to shine, ika nga, di ba? Uh, it is better, sabi nga ni St. Thomas Aquinas, it is better for somebody to illuminate rather than to simply shine. Halimbawa, mga artista, di ba makikita niyo, sikat na sikat sila, magaganda, uh, palaging tinatakbuhan ng mga tao, ina-appreciate ng mga tao, tinitingnan, they merely shine. Kaya nga ang tawag sa kanila mga stars or starlets, di ba? Mega star, superstar. But they only shine. Pero ano ba yung mga mga nag illuminate Mga guru, mga teachers, mga parents. Sila yung naggagabay sa tao. Maaring wala silang hawak na flashlight, pero sa kanilang wisdom, sa kanilang uh, katalinuhan, nagagabayan nila. Ang mga kapwa nila, ang mga bata, yung mga kailangan ng gabay, yung kailangan ng guide, ng tulong upang makarating sa kanilang paparoonan. So let us remember that always. Kapag tayo ay nakakarinig ng salita ng Diyos, ang ilaw na ating maa-absorb ay hindi kailangang nakatago lamang sa ating kalooban. 
The words that we hear give us light within. Anong gagawin natin sa ilaw na yan, sa ating mga narinig? Pwede natin ipaliwanag sa ibang tao at magsisilbi rin niyang ilaw sa kanila. Diba? Pinapaliwanag, kagaya ng ginagawa ko sa inyo ngayon. More or less, ipinapaliwanag ko. Sana nga ay maliwanag ang aking paliwanag, ang aking explanation, ang aking re reflection tungkol sa ating binasang Ibanghelyo. Kapag ito ay ating narinig, kapag ito ay aking narinig, I have to share it. Sapagkat walang bisa kapag ang salita ng Diyos ay mananatili lamang sa atin. We have to share it. And yes, we have to shine. How do we shine? By the actions that we make and by the words also that we say. Doon nagbubunga yung ating narinig at yung naaabsorb nating ilaw sa salita ng Diyos. It has to be shared. Otherwise, it just remains in us. So, hindi siya nagsisilbi ng kanyang purpose, ng kanyang objective. So, tayo ngayon, araw na ito, ay nakarinig ng salita ng Diyos. Ilaw na gumagabay kung saan tayo talaga patutungo. Hindi lamang sa mundong ito, but for the future, no? Our real home to guide us to the kingdom of God when our time comes. So wag natin ipagdadamot yung ilaw na ating natanggap. It is meant to be shared, to be shared, and to illumine also the paths of other people. Let us now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Let us pray to God the Father that the light of His Son, Jesus Christ, may bring hope and salvation to all. For each intention, we shall say, May our lives glorify you, O Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord, that the people of God may be like a great light shining in the darkness by their efforts in building a better world. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord that leaders of nations may bring rays of hope to those who suffer by giving justice to the oppressed and dignity to every human person. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. That parents may be like light on a mountain top, guiding their children to God's love by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. That the sick, the depressed, and the heart broken may discover the light of Christ in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. That the faithful departed may receive perpetual light, happiness, and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. May our lives glorify you, O Lord. God, our Father, give us new awareness and strength to be committed to the service of others and be a lamp shining on them. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness, you formed it anew, and so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too exalt you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Sa pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Announcement Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022, Sunday. Novena Masses will start this coming Friday, September 23, 2022. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, dear friends, fellow pilgrims, thank you very much for visiting the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Thank you for being one with us in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist at this time. Please continue to, prepare, to pray for us as we uh, shepherd pilgrims from the Philippines and from all over the world. Uh, we also promise to pray for you in our morning, evening prayers and all our liturgical activities for your intentions and for your petitions. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick, and afterwards, the blessing of the rosaries and religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen and in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. to have 